What's going on guys? James here from Exoforma. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix this scratch using Exoforma's three-step paint correction system. What's most important here is the depth of the scratch. As I run my hand over it, I can't feel anything. This being a scratch that you can see but you can't feel is very important. That means it's gonna be very easy to fix. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna tape this off and I'm gonna use a certain taping technique where I have three strips of tape on each side. This is very important because it'll make it so there's not a hard edge as to where you polished and where you didn't polish. And a lot of times that can be weird. You can feel it there and you'll see a different color perhaps. Uh, that's more important if it's like in the middle of a panel. It's not necessarily that important down here, but I'm gonna show you guys how to do it just so you know how. So I'm gonna start uh, taping the farthest away and each strip of tape will get closer to the scratch. Now that you can see how I tape this off, you can get a better understanding of why we're doing this. With each product we use, we're gonna peel away a layer of tape so that the depth of the clear coat kind of fades back into the normal depth. We wanna give this clear coat a fade, not a bowl cut, because we don't want it getting to middle school and getting made fun of, because it's 2020 and it has a bowl cut. <laughs> <laughs> So we're gonna start with clear cut compound and our cutting pad. We're gonna go across this. Uh, that's gonna get rid of probably all of this scratch because the scratch isn't too deep. Then we're gonna peel away a layer of tape and go to the precision polish. What I'm gonna do is put a tape line here and only uh, polish out half of the scratch so at the end you can kind of see the before and after and see how much work we've done. All right, now that we've used Quick Cut Compound, you can see that completely removed all of the scratch. What we're gonna do is lift a layer of tape and go to Precision Polish, and what this will do is help get the paint back to its regular state so it's nice and crystal clear and it's not hazy because that's what's gonna happen when you use a cutting compound. It's gonna make it hazy even though it does get rid of the scratch. So let's move to uh, Precision Polish and get rid of a layer of tape here. So if you look at this closely, you can see there's a distinct difference where I peeled up the tape. That's exactly how it's supposed to be. We're gonna take care of that here when we do Precision Polish. Now you can see we got rid of that obvious line from using the cutting compound and we did so using a smooth transition because we're using the layers of tape. Now we're gonna pull back one more layer of tape and use mirror finish and we'll be done. And once you've used mirror finish, then you can peel up the last layer of tape And then you can use mirror finish a little more just to make sure that you're blending this final area where the last strip of tape was. And there you have it. That's how you fix a shallow scratch using Exoforma's three-step polishing system. Again, guys, this is a great strategy if you have a very shallow scratch, one that you can't feel when you rub your fingers across it. If you have a deeper scratch, this won't completely remove it, but it'll mask it great. It'll be very hard to see unless you get really close. If you have any questions, make sure to comment them below, and thanks for watching.